Good morning. Are you excited? It's time for the second quarter financial update. How do we even begin to celebrate how amazing and how impressive this is? Well, I've got some ideas. You know, even as I record this, the California government has just announced that they're tightening, retightening the reins on so many aspects of our community. Even with the new routines that we've all created, it seems that each subsequent week presents unique challenges that we need to adapt and adjust. Perhaps you have had the perseverance to make it this far, but these new developments are really starting to take that strangling hold on you. Right? I want to encourage you that as each of these developments have been, they can be an opportunity for the gospel to advance. So take heart and know that others are going through similar circumstances as you. Reach out to receive a helping hand or offer a helping hand. Consider the Apostle Paul. The Roman government, let's see. Ah, yes. The Roman government. Man, they wanted to control and suppress Paul's evangelistic efforts, so they put him into prison. And if that moment had deflated and de-energized Paul, then our records of him would probably finish somewhere at the, the end of Acts with what he was a part of. But as he sat in prison, he continued to witness to others in prison. And then he began to write and write and write to the Ephesians, Colossians, Philippians, Galatians, the first Thessalonians, the Corinthians, Romans, Timothy, Titus. Wait. Yes, those audiences likely received those letters, but the propelling result I'm talking about is generation after generation received those letters. Just countless, all the way up to today's date and, Lord willing, tomorrow's date and beyond. So God's priority is to advance the gospel even during trials. How is this video a financial report? Easy. Your faithful giving has helped to advance the gospel in our community. Ministry efforts are genuinely growing and healthy amid the trials that we share in. All four of our funds are in healthy condition. We got the general fund, it's at 117%. The Global Impact Fund is all up there. The Benevolence Fund's healthy. The Open Door Campaign for the renovations happening, all great stuff. The staff has significantly adjusted the way that their ministries are working to try to digitally disciple and reach all nations, baptizing them, teaching them to obey everything that Jesus has commanded. Ponder with me on these great ministries in the second quarter, the impact of these daily vlogs. A week of VBC, the live streaming Sundays, Zoom, 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 all the efforts and Bible studies, that, that method, the front door youth group activities, the explosion of food every Friday at 5, the uh, financial rescue for in the benevolence ministries, the, the discipling and counseling over the phone uh, from a distance, the, the fact that we haven't had any layoffs, we've had new visitors, new decisions for Christ, fully funded global impact partners and a respectful support the whole way long of our governing authorities in regards to how we open the campus. And what? A building campaign with active construction that is now 99% funded. Guys, this is absolutely incredible. So, do you want to hear some great news? I think you already know it. The church has never, ever been closed. As believers, we are His church. Keep on looking for the opportunity that God gives you to advance His gospel. It has been incredible to see our church's passion for continually loving God and loving others. So thank you for your financial contributions, your service of time, your talents, and prayer. We are all so blessed by a faithful God who loves us and has provided so many good gifts. Each one of you should give whatever you have decided in your heart to give. Not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. Amen? Man, I've had to put so much work into this particular vlog. Oh, I, hope, I hope you appreciate the fun. I know I always appreciate a good song. And uh, most of all, I definitely appreciate you. All right? God bless, and we'll see you soon.